Clear prop. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grove and Pollock's YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grove and Pollock's Association. And here's what you normally see as a dipstick, but right next to it is one of the new Tannis plugs that bolts to the uh, dipstick tube. On this particular case, it's on a Tiger owned by Don Goins, and he has the heater probes down here that go in and take the place of one intake bolt. So that was his solution for supp um, supplying heat to here, and I feel you have a pad on the... Yeah, bottom of, pad on the bottom of the oil pan. So that's just the new way Tannis is doing it. So you can either have the bayonet probe that goes in the bottom of the cylinder. A lot of people are using that for cylinder head temperature. There are the heaters that wrap around the base of the cylinder by Tannis. Um, that puts a lot of heat here and it eventually works into the cylinder. But one of the nice things about the intake bolt is it puts it right up where you need it in the valves, which is where you really have the problem when it's cold. So just a quick look at the new Tannis system. Uh, he picked this up at Oshkosh last year, less than a year old, and, and all the cabling hookups. So if you're in a cold climate like Ohio or north of us, you might want to think about this. Well, here's another piece of information to put away in your folder and justify buying a heating system. So we hope you found this useful. I'd like to thank you for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.